This is a lesson on estimating sums and differences of decimals. So before we get started on the estimating, um, one thing that we need to be clear on is what a whole number is. Because estimating um, decimals requires you to turn decimals into whole numbers. So a whole number is a number that doesn't have any decimals or fractions after it um, besides zero. Okay, so that would be like a number like 5 or 26 or 567, something like that. Okay, so now that we're clear on that, let's look at the steps of um, estimating sums and differences. So we're going to follow pretty much the same steps that we've followed for almost all types of estimating that we've done so far this year. But um, step one is using the rounding rules. So that's uh, look right next door. If it's four or less, let it rest. If it's five or more, raise the score. Okay, so that's the rounding rule. You should know that though. Um, then round each number to the nearest whole number. So that you're going to round each number to the nearest ones place. Make a little note for yourself um, if, if that will help you to remember how to round on this paper. Okay, and then the second thing is to add or subtract the rounded numbers depending on what the operation is that you need to do. Need to do. <clears throat> now there is one variation in rounding that you could do. We're going to practice the steps that I that you see here. Um, but if you wanted a more accurate estimate, then you could round just the second number in the equation before adding or subtracting. So in the example right here that, you, that we'll do in a minute, um, if we were to do the variation, the more accurate estimate, then we would only round um, this second number right here that I've highlighted, and this one would stay exactly the way it is, and then we'd add them together. Okay, we'll look at that in a little bit. But let's do the example um, the way that, the first way that I told you how to um, estimate. So um, we have the numbers here. We've got 1 and 191. Remember that the decimal can be um, said as and when you're saying a number. So 1 and 191 plus 3 and 487. So first we need to do first what we need to do is round. So the first one we have a one a one in the tenths place and we need to round to the nearest ones. So one is four or less, so we're going to let the one rest as one. Then we put the plus symbol here. We don't need to worry about putting decimal zero 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 in place of these. When there's no decimal after a number, we just assume they're all zeros. Okay, and now we're going to do the next number. We have a three in the ones place, and in the tenths place, we have a four. So the four is four or less again, so we're going to let the three rest. Now we just add, we have one plus three equals four. Now if we did the variation way that I told you about a couple minutes ago, um, remember we would just round the second number. So we would leave one and one nine one the same, and then we would put plus three. Then we would add them. Now adding it doesn't matter so much if you leave the first number or the second number um, as a decimal and the other one rounded, but in subtracting it makes it a whole lot easier if you only round the second one rather than only rounding the first one. Then you have to do a bunch of borrowing if you do it the other way. <clears throat> okay, so um, We've got one, well, you basically, you add up the one and, and the three, so four and one, nine, one is what we would end up with. So it's basically um, the same answer. You just put this decimal onto the end of the answer for your estimate. Um, okay, and then the second example, and if you need to, to pause and, and copy this down, then you go ahead. Um, the second example, We've got 3 and 487 minus 1 and 191. And ignore that, that's just the cursor. Um, so we need to round first. So we've got 3 here and a 4 in the tenth spot. So since 4 is in the tenths, that means that 3 lets rest. And then we've got um, a subtract. 
and you'll notice that this is the same numbers so I don't even need to think about it I'm just going to put one here and then it's going to equal two now if we were going to do the more accurate uh, estimate here just just so that you know what it looks like not because we're going to be practicing it but we we leave the first number the same and we round the second number and then and then it makes it easy because now we just have to go three minus one is two and then we put the rest of the decimal back on there and it's done so it's almost um, almost no difference now we've got come to the practice so what you need to do is please uh, pause the video and complete the 16 and 339 plus 8 and 453 um, and also the B of 37 and 684 minus 15 and 456. Notice this is subtract and this is add again. So pause and then once you've finished, play the video and make sure that you've got it correct. Okay, so now that you have finished, this is how you would solve this. So um, there's a 3 in the tenths place and so that means that the 6 is going to stay the same. Don't forget to put the 1 in front of the 6. I'm going to add on, um, and I'm going to look at the 8. And 7 is right next door. 7 is 5 or more, so it's going to raise the score of the 8 to 9. And then we're just going to add these two numbers together. So our estimate is about 25. Now we've got on B, we've got 37 and 684. So I'm going to look at the 7 because it's in the 1's place. The 6 is in the 10th, so it's 5 or more. It's going to raise the score to 38. And then in the second number here, we've got a 5. And right next door, there's a 4. So 4 is 4 or less, so it, we let it rest and it stays at 15. And then we need to subtract. Now sometimes the numbers are tough to think about in our heads. And it's okay to write them one on top of the other as well. So 8 minus 5 is 3 and 3 minus 1 is 2. So my estimate would be about 23. Alright, so... Your assignment then is on page 198 to 199. Um, we've got numbers 1 to 3 and 6 to 8. And um, on numbers 1 and 2, it asks you to explain your strategy. But you don't need to worry about explaining. Just show your work and that is enough.